so hello friends uh, today i am going to show you some new software so i have just uh, installed it and uh, i am new also in the software uh, isabel is the name and uh, i found that it's a good software and easy to install it and let me show you the review of the first screen of the isabel ipp based system but it has also a call center module so here is the dashboard of the system uh, it shows some cpu usage high because i have uh, i have uh, you know put uh, this one in my vmware so it's a hyper v i have i have already made this video uh, uh, how to install the hyper v how to enable it and how to uh, the put the put the file of the iso and how to install it so so here is my first screen and the dashboard here it's uh, very familiar to me if you are if you are looking for this it's a uh, near to familiar to uh, the elastics i'm just going to show you my elastic system you can find it that's a, it's a very same thing same uh, dashboard is there let me show you see uh, the, the the this package is not available in uh, elastics at present because elastics had already occupied by uh the 3cx and it's a older version of the elastics it's also available in internet so you can see the cpu ram swipe and cpu info and here also is the same a little bit uh, the, the 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 dashboard is a little bit uh, different but the module is near to same and even the process status here and the, here is the process uh, the same so let's move on to the same thing uh, the isabel because we are focused on that so uh, check here is some news and the module is there and the update and uh, here is a good thing the total internal calls or the external call is written here a total channel calls in queue extension so it's a new so we have to create the whole things so i'm going to show you the first thing how to create your extension go to your pvx and there is a pvs configuration here is the extension and this thing is uh, a little bit familiar yes see check this one it's a this those thing are same if i'm going to in pvx module you can check the the same thing is there see the same thing so let me can uh, add some extension over there here is the extension so you have to select this one you have to put the extension whatever you want uh, like uh, this name display name as a newbie solution and uh, you don't have to uh, the put the whole things here it's a basic thing outbound caller id is using for your uh, the outbound uh, caller you have to send if you have a caller id from your a uh, sim trunk or the pri or you uh, know you want to different quality section as uh, differ from your the pilot number so you are going to put the outbound quality here and here is the secret it's a uh, no, the, the good and uh, a little bit tricky is the secret that is the reason it will always secure so here is the inbound calls See, even here is uh, the guidelines is also the recording of inbound calls from the external source. See, here is the recording thing. You can put the recording here. Uh, a little bit different from the Elastic 2.4 version because if I'm going to hit here.
the recording is only always and outgoing is on demand this kind of thing is there but here is a little bit high that's if there is a, any inbound call from your external number it will uh, it will uh, no, the the recording will on or not if there is any outbound call call uh, to the external it will uh, open or not inbound call for the internal calls outbound calls outbound for the internal calls so it's good it's really good because it's already grouping these are the voicemail section and the VMX locator is here and here is the IVR section is there the creation of the IVR how to add the IVR let me let me create some new so here's the you have to put the name and the description and these are the announcement uh, you have to I think you have to go to the system sounds like there to upload your uh, sound file yeah here is the thing system recording file so you have to use that one for uploading uh, recording must be here is the some advice is here what should be there uh, what should be your file extension and the uh, beats and the hers which one is the best for you law LO or the G729 let me go to the IVR again um, it's a just uh, the review of the software that is the reason I have uh, installed this one the lot of client is telling me uh, how to configure it so what is the announcement is you have to select the announcement and the direct call will be allow or uh, not allow that's when what is the meaning of the direct call that's when uh, some you have uploaded some ex, uh, some uh, IVR like a, uh, thank you for calling ABC company if you know the extension of uh, the uh, of the employee please put the extension and after that you have to select the hash or the pound key so that's mean the call will be redirect to your direct extension if you have a single call already that's mean it it will be it it will hit the any extension if you are putting there what is the timeout that's mean how much time it will be you know, the uh, timeout uh, things and what will be the inv invalid uh, retries what is the meaning of that that's mean how many times a user can put uh, the DTMF so see as an example if I'm putting two example I need for that one because the two scenario is there welcome to ABC company if you want if you want to talk with a salesperson press one or or if you want to talk with a technical person then you have to press two and uh, if you uh, if you know the extension this kind of thing so you can put the extension uh, uh, for the put the uh, extension for the pressing three so if any user pressing four five six anything three times the call will disconnect that is the reason here is putting three you can change here also and the disable also okay okay the what will be the invalid destination so invalid destination that's mean uh, if he try three times what will be the the next uh, the announcement if uh, he go to the three numbers that's mean the announcement will be thank you for calling us please try again and please know the extension or this kind of thing or or you can put your advertisement also we are in uh, some ABC cities also we have opened so here is a timeout timeout means if anyone uh, the ho hold the call for the 10 second without pressing any DTMF the call will hang up so here is the digit if press 1 then what will be the destination this kind of thing is here okay let's go to the conference so here is the conference menu also uh, you can put the conference number see why we are using the conference because might be there is a conference table is there some user are from the outside 
uh, it's a ABC location and we are in office who have we are going to attend the uh, meeting might be in their desk don't have to go to the presentation room or something uh, even if there is a presentation room on the presentation room there is a five members and the all other users are uh, behind of presentation room so what will be happen this is the conference number put the conference number user pin and the admin pin you can <coughs> you can hear the joining message here is a uh, one uh, i is also whoever joined the meeting pressing the conference number if i am pressing the conference number is 102 from the internal uh, 102 will be heated from your ip phone or anything and from the outside world you have to select the inbound route you have to set up the inbound route for your conference so here is some uh, music on hold and user join leave and the quiet mode so you can take the the, the uh, here is the one thing the the help is also there available okay uh, okay the here is a uh, talker uh, detection Mm, so leader uh, weight will be there or not the admin user I have uh, told you that this is the admin pin is there and here is the outbound routes you have to put the outbound uh, by default there is a one outbound is there it's the same in elastics also there and the same things so what is the what is the meaning of this route outbound route that's mean that you have to select the caller id uh, whenever whoever the user and try to uh, call to the outside world what will be the caller id by passing if you are there selecting this route and uh, okay and uh, what what is the meaning of the nine here it's a this mean if you are dialing uh, by pressing nine the route will be this okay the route will be this and uh, you have to put the any number after that dot means any number whatever you have a number and uh, so if you are going to dial any number like a one two three four five and you have to put nine before using this route so it might be there is a lot of route is there you have a lot of trunk is there how to define the which route or the which trunk will be allowed to your customer and how to how to send the route if you have a three a different different trunk like a b c how you are going to define the the the, the call will be passing a uh, call will be passing b it's like a before nine if anyone dial the, the dial nine before any number that's mean it will be pass uh, via a trunk if there is any uh, eight eight if you are going to put the eight that's mean it will be passed via eight for uh, using this trunk so we can uh, define this kind of thing in the out uh, outbound route and uh, the uh, the most important one more thing is there it's a uh, inbound inbound route where is the inbound okay so here is the inbound call control things so here is the trunk if you are using the uh, daddy for the pri you can put the you can select the daddy one and here is the the trunk see here you have to you have to put the 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 dial plan or the secret and the host and the provider is the user thing like a, if there is any sip trunk username abc and the secret one two three and the and the, the the server ip address you have to put in the host field so here is a one more option is there for the voicemail and i have put the call center suit here here's the agent console is there okay the outgoing calls campaign you have you can create your campaign let me let me check with the new campaign okay 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 you uh, you have to create a one queue so i will i will show you later on after that email configuration is there because it's a new system at present so just for checking the the graphical user interface okay so i have i have uh, put the roomx also it is using for hotel and check in check out is also there billing reports is also there so it's a it's a good software actually and it's an open source and uh, see let me check the, the add-ons
so i really like this software but it's a little bit i think taking a little bit high processing so you need to need to install in the server rather than your normal pc see there is a lot of uh, uh, module is there in this open source So they see there is a V Tiger is also there. Uh, okay, the call center, Stat Pro, Flash operator. I don't have installed this one, but I have installed this two module call center and this one and uh, this call center. Okay, one more thing here is the Easy VPN is here for the VPN using whoever going to use your VPN. So. I think it's uh, enough for my first video on this software and thank you for watching our video please let us know uh, and we have already put, uh, log into the uh, putty also see whenever you ha you are just uh, no the first time login you can check this one so I hope you enjoy this video and let me show the last thing the what is the version of the asterisk it's 16 it's uh, new I really like like this system actually there is a lot of modules there even the graphical user interface is so good asterisk they are using 16.7 I think it's good enough for any PVX system okay okay so thank you for watching our video if you need any help please let us know we have Skype ID over there and uh, please subscribe us and please comment on this video if you're liking or if you know need more things thank you